Yeah, they sure are. Uh, we talked to Principal Vincent Lewis here at Kerr High School at 6.30. He talked about it feels good to receive such an award and that it gives kids who go to school here a sense of pride as they walk through the hallways. They're settling in for another school day, and I was here earlier when the buses were cruising in and dropping them off, also parents dropping their kids off as well. Now, Principal Lewis says that he's been in education for 26 or 27 years, and he's never seen a school quite like Kerr. For starters, they emphasize allowing students to work at their own pace. When a student's ready to take a test, they take a test. There's no athletic program here, but most students are involved in fine arts in one way or another. He's proud that the state selected this Kerr as a school to apply for the Blue Ribbon status, even more so that the U.S. Department of Education selected the school as one of just under 300 Blue Ribbon campuses across the entire country. It brings a sense of pride uh, to, to the kids who are walking uh, the halls, and so uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's also an opportunity uh, for us to, to showcase some of the best practices we have here. Kerr High wasn't the only school in our area to receive the award. It was the only public school. There were three private schools, too. Congratulations to St. Cecilia Catholic School, St. Vincent de Paul Catholic School, and St. Anne Catholic School. The Department of Education recognizes those schools for their overall academic performance or progress in closing achievement gaps among student subgroups. Now, coming up 8.30, we'll go a little deeper with Principal Lewis about just what's going on here at Kerr High School that has them seeing so much success and being named one of 31 Blue Ribbon schools in the entire state of Texas. Just 31 of them, and Kerr is one of them. Reporting live at Kerr High School.